Next, we will get to know a bit about the tilapia, a meaty fish very popular for its fillet that has very few bones and excellent taste. Tilapia is the generic name given to this specific group of fish of African origin. The group consists of various species belonging to the Oreochromis genus, some being of economic interest. It lives mostly in tropical regions where the conditions are favorable for its reproduction and growth. The species that stand out are the Nile tilapia, Oreochromis niloticus, blue tilapia, Oreochromis aureus, and Mozambique tilapia, Oreochromis mozambicus. Its extraordinary qualities, such as accelerated growth, tolerance to high population density, adaptation to captivity, a wide-range diet, resistance to diseases, white-quality meat, and ample acceptance, have awakened great worldwide commercial interest in fish farming. They are warm-water fish that can live both in fresh water and salt water. They can even get used to waters with low oxygen. Tilapia present only one nasal orifice on both sides of the head, which simultaneously serves as both an entrance and exit to the nasal cavity. The body is generally compressed and disc-shaped. Rarely is it elongated. The mouth is protractile, generally wide, often surrounded by a thick set of lips. The jaws showcase conic-shaped teeth that are sometimes sharp. For their locomotion, they possess odd and even fins. The even pairs constitute the pectoral and the ventral fins, while the odd ones are made up of dorsal, caudal, and anal fins. The front part of the dorsal and anal fins is short, made up of several bones. The lower part has gentle radii, giving the dorsal fin a crest shape. The caudal fin is round, incomplete, and rarely cut. Like in all fish, this fin helps maintain the balance of the body during swimming and diving. The tilapia is a very strong fish, since it can reproduce at an early age and at a small size. The ideal temperature of the water for reproduction should be of 20 degrees to 25 degrees Celsius. They reach sexual maturity at around two to three months, but in subtropical waters, the temperature can vary between 20 and 23 degrees. Light affects reproduction. The increase or diminishment of light by eight hours could complicate it. Tilapia also have seven stages of embryonic development. Spawning is the completion of the fourth stage. The Oreochromis genus is classified as omnivorous due to the diversity of the food consumed, which goes from macroscopic vegetation to some unicellular algae and bacteria, tending to consume zooplankton. One characteristic of the majority of tilapias is their ability to easily accept the food given artificially while in captivity, such as plants, fruit waste, vegetables, greens, oil seeds, and cereals. The base of the tilapia's nutrition is made up of natural foods that develop in the water, the content of which is made up of a 55% dry weight approximately. For tilapia's optimum development, it is important that the tank they are kept in maintains the following environmental requirements. The optimum temperature ranges between 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. They can support temperatures below 15 degrees Celsius. Any lower and the tilapia won't grow. When it comes to oxygen in the water, tilapia are capable of withstanding low concentrations, approximately one milligram per liter. It can even make do with much less during short periods of time. But one must remember that the less oxygen they have, the less they will feed and therefore not grow. It's ideal for them to remain between the two to three milligrams per liter, especially in low light. The optimum pH values are between 7 and 8. 
They cannot tolerate values below 5, but they can resist alkaline values of 11. As for turbidity, the transparency of the water, this must be maintained at around 30 centimeters of visibility. The altitude goes from 850 to 2,000 meters above sea level. Solar radiation influences considerably the photosynthesis process of aquatic plants, giving way to the primary production, which is the quantity of plants formed at any given time.